Hello, here's Igor. In this screencast I'm going to show you how to get started with Elastic I.O. Private Beta. So, let's go to beta.elastic.io and log in using our credentials. Here we can see uh, Elastic I.O. dashboard. This is basically your control panel which you are going to use to start, stop and monitor your integration flows. It looks quite empty right now, so let's create an, a new flow. Ok, um, in this screen course I'm going to show you how to connect to uh, SaaS applications, right? So um, we're going to connect Salesforce uh, with Fastbill. Fastbill is a Germany located uh, billing startup, so this is a quite cool demo. So, uh, first we're going to choose our Salesforce application and um, an application a component has uh, a couple of triggers uh, and we're going, we're interested in a new lead trigger because we're going to to connect Salesforce lead, leads with Fastpo um, uh, customers. Okay, so next you might uh, select FastPO, uh, create customer resource, right? Uh, but this is not going to work because uh, the data produced by Salesforce um, not necessarily match the data consumed by FastPO. Uh, those data need to be ma uh, matched. So this is uh, why we created a data mapper. Uh, data Mapper is an application which uh, is located between two um, SaaS applications and uh, responsible for uh, transforming data from a source format to a target format. Okay, so we are uh, our integration is uh, ready. Uh, every lead um, produced by Salesforce is going to be transformed into a fast build customer. Okay, and uh, now we need to provide to configure the integration flow. And first, we're going to uh, cover the data mapper. Okay, on on the left hand side, you you see uh, the data produced by Salesforce, and on the right hand side, you see the data consumed by Fastbill. So obviously, we need to uh, select a value for first name of a customer and uh, obviously it's called first name and uh, the last name is obviously last name and but what is called organization in Fastbill is called company in Salesforce what is called zip code in Fastbill is called is called postal code and in Salesforce and so on and city okay we are done next uh, our our um, data mapper is configured and the data between Salesforce and FastPO can be matched. And now we need to provide our credentials. Uh, to, to provide credentials for Salesforce, you just need to create to click on this authenticate button and um, after a few seconds um, Salesforce, Salesforce will grant are an access token which we are going to use to connect to Salesforce on your behalf. Uh, with Fastbill it works a little bit different. Fastbill uh, doesn't support all hours, so we are just going to to um, type the uh, account name and the API key. An API key is to if you are a Fastbill customer, you can just log into your account and retrieve the API key from your settings. That's it. Next, you can also select some, some required data which can't be mapped, and uh, like customer type, the country, of the customer and so on and yes we are done now we can start the integration flow and uh, 
Here we go. Right now we are in a beta phase, so please bear with us, with us if you find any issues. Please support uh, us by providing any bugs by using this button. And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions on improvements, please go to our support using this link. Thank you very much.